for your family, for your future. InvestView. Invest in you. Hey, welcome back. You know, we don't always want you to just listen to me and Frankie going on and on with just our thoughts. We like to get out on the street and hear what other people are thinking. And my brother Derek goes out there because he's the man. He's our man. And he's the man on the street. Went out there today talking to people about the drone strike, about anti-Semitism, and about my recent science project on climate change. Let's take a look. There's uh, some things that these people are talking about. Yesterday we were talking about New Year's resolutions. That's right. Uh, people, many people saying they're going to quit smoking. Other people say they're going to stop eating. I think he even threw in a little New Year's resolution in there. So uh, let's go to Derek out on the street. It's Derek Tobacco from Liquid Lunch on Newsmax TV. Today we're in front of One Police Plaza. We're going to walk around. We're going to talk to some people, see who they think is going to win the Super Bowl, uh, see what they think about climate change, see what they think about um, the U.S. drone strike in Iran yesterday. So we're going to walk around and uh, get back to you with some info. What's going on? What are you guys trying to raise awareness for today? So we've been striking outside of um, the U.N. since, like, last year. And um, in 2020, we decided to make our... Um, so we're a part of Fridays for Future, which is a global movement started by Greta Thunberg um, to raise awareness and kind of for the youth to make action and make sure that um, like the world leaders are taking account that this is a climate crisis that we're going through right now. Yeah. Who will you be voting for in 2021? Um, Bernie Sanders. Well, hopefully, if the nominee is Bernie Sanders, well, I don't, I don't know who the nominee is going to be, but the nominee that I want is Bernie Sanders because he has the most um, ambitious climate plan. He's taking it seriously. He supports a Green New Deal, which is what we need. <laughs> I think that's a little bit out of uh, your wheelhouse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it's not an ultra. Not Donald Trump. Not Donald Trump. So, yes, Bernie or Elizabeth Warren. I think for the primaries, I'm definitely going to vote for either, probably Bernie, if not Warren, um, because they both, especially Bernie, has had a record of not only standing up for like the um, like mitigation against the climate crisis, but also it's just being activists and being in the fight that we're trying to get to make sure everything is being not only d taken care of, um, taken care of but also actively fighting against it. Are you a supporter of Donald Trump? Absolutely not. <laughs> uh, do you feel he's not been helping um, this movement uh, at you, or helping you take action? Donald Trump is a climate denier. He doesn't believe that climate change is a, is a man-made issue, which it obviously, clearly, scientifically is. Did you hear about the drone strikes yesterday? Yeah, I just I think that this is an example of um, Trump's like non-diplomacy as a president and as a leader. I've read a little bit about everything in, a, in my classes. My school is really like proactive in teaching us about a global perspective. But I think um, it's just going to be increased tensions and I really hope that we can go through diplomatic um, ways of kind of um, mitigating the tension that's building and has been building for a while now. Uh, I don't know. I hope nothing happens just peace <laughs> peace peace in the middle east this this act of violence like it was not it was not smart it was not well thought out like alejandra said it's it's indubitably going to increase tensions that's inevitable did you have a new year's resolution if so what was it uh, my new year's resolution was probably to just get up early on time <laughs> Be more happy and this year than the last one. <laughs> Same like thing. Happiness and the, for the family and for our friends and that's it. <laughs> well, obviously those folks that Derek met on the street didn't see my science project. Exactly. Uh, See what you're missing? Kind of debunk some of their stuff there. That's right. But uh, show them yeah. a glass of water yeah. again. I mean, here it is. This is a glass that was full of ice and water yesterday, well above the brim. And today it's at the exact same water level. So, eh, the displacement didn't happen. Proved. Proved. That doesn't mean there's not some stuff out there that's caused by humans, but, uh, you know, eating meat and cow farting are not things that I'm greatly concerned about for my kids' future. All right. Well, that's uh, understandable. <laughs> what else? All right. Uh, well, uh, by the way, can we, can we put up John Bolton's tweet uh, after uh, when we get a moment? 
uh, number one. This is a tweet that John Bolton sent out, disgraced National Security Advisor John Bolton. Congratulations to all involved in eliminating uh, Qassam Soleimani. Long in the making, this was a decisive blow against Iran's malign Quds forces activities worldwide. Hope this is the first step to regime change in Tehran. Now, John Bolton <laughs> has been itching for regime change for years, no literally years, <laughs> and now that he's out of the White House, it appears finally the administration is following his policy and going along with him. So, um, just... Think. Maybe he'll reconsider testifying again against Trump. Everybody, in those Senate everybody now. that's cheering uh, this assassination of General Soleimani, who I'll be the first to admit is the, a bad guy, pure evil, as General Petraeus described him. Just remember, you're now on the same side as John Bolton, who was one of the leading figures who brought us the disaster in Iraq. All right, you're also on the side. Tighten the sanctions, and now you want to send a general to our embassy in Iraq. Uh, we catch you going in the airport, we tomahawk you. And uh, he got hit by an M uh, MQ-9 drone, the word is now. So thank goodness for MQ-9s. Thank goodness for you for sticking with us through two hours. We're going to take a quick break. Frank's going to correct all my mistakes in today's show in the WTF What the Facts right after this.